Hey there everyone, uh, just a quick video uh, to go over some of the fixes and a change that I've done in the latest uh, latest 3.2 build of the community theme creator, so let's get right into it. So the first thing you see is upon startup, you can now actually see the events as they're being performed. Okay, and then uh, let's see, okay, I don't know if I want to be in here, let's go to 3.2, and I had previously shown this off, um, a new metadata field. Whoops. Metadata. Odd even. Let's increase the font size. Okay. And then the game pad. As you can see, it tells you if you've if the selected item is either even or an odd selection. I've already shown that. However, I'll just save it. Um, what you can do now, let me go to PlayStation 2. I'll keep it in this view. Go to Wheel Item Template. And it's one of these. Which one is it? This one. I'm going to clone it. And what view was this for? For number two. Okay. So I'm going to clone it. Edit. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to make sure I've got this right. I think they're all set to full screen. Okay, I'm going to put that in there, put that in here, and then I'm going to change the size. Let's make it 15. pretty close. I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to clone the grid. Now on this one, I'm going to say odd. And on this one, I'm going to say even. And I'm going to change the rotation to 45, and then visibility conditioning on this one is it's collapsed, and selected item odd even is, um, whoops, selected item odd even, I'll try that again, is, uh, what was it, even, I'm going to copy that. Visibility conditions, I'm going to paste, and if this is odd, all right, and I 
you can ensure that it still does this. And I want to make sure I haven't screwed this up. Okay. Let me save that. I just want to quickly let's go into it real quick. Are we good? Touch, 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 touch. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So now I'm going to take this and apply it to, I believe it was wheel two. There you go. So now we have an alternating wheel item design and clearly odd even works within the wheel item template. So, I mean, all the, again, all depends on design if you want to make it look a bit funky. I'm just trying to help you in that regard. Anyway, so that's odd even. It now works at the wheel item template level. Um, let's see. I want to go to this here. And I've shown you this before, but it, it had a different name. I've just called it selected item bar, no longer progress bar. Okay, so I've renamed it. So anyone out there that um, we're using a early access builder 3.2 and have actually added this uh, uh, element to their view, it's going to disappear when you use this version of the 3.2 build. Um, unfortunately, that's just the, the nature of the beast with an early access. But I'm just letting you know if you're wondering where you're selected item progress bar is gone it's it it has gone but you have to re-add it and it's now called selected item bar um, and I'll just quickly put this in here so we've got uh, background selected um, I don't want to spend a great deal of time on this I've already covered it and obviously it'll be enhanced at some point Transparent. Okay, so the functionality hasn't changed, it's just the name that has. All right, uh, let's see. We were in. Oh, yeah, I can do this. Looks like this has got conditioning on it. So for conditioning, condition editor, this is another fix. If you try and put a, if you put a single quote or a double quote, the field is red. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, a value that, or a character that's not allowed. Okay. Double quote. No. Nope. Single quote. No. Nope. All right. So that's being prevented. Uh, if these values are allowed, it will cause the app to crash. Um, and another change to the condition editor is you can actually reference the selected item index now directly. Um, it wasn't working before. So for whatever reason, if you want to say, hey, if I'm greater than one or less than one or you know, whatever you want to do, um, you can actually reference it, all right? Um, and that is pretty much it. I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to cover some of the fixes and changes to this build, um, especially renaming a UI, UI, renaming a UI element. Um, I don't want to cause confusion there, so I, I wanted to kind of explain uh, what's going on, so there's no surprises. But anyway, um, like I said, quick video, and 
onward with additional fixes and the remainder of um, the uh, 3.2 uh, build. Okay, all right, take care everyone.